I have just gotten access to the new Apple intelligence built into Siri and iOS. This is on uh, the iOS 18.1 beta. And let's see what's new. It's not everything that's gonna come out eventually uh, with the whole like ChatGPT integration and all that, but let's take a look and see what it can do. First off, we have this new animation. What's the weather in Denver? Super basic, of course, that's always gonna work. Now, if I wanna try something a little bit more complicated, like, hey Siri, text Josh, ask him when he's going to be back in town. To Josh, when he's going to be back in town. So you can see, okay. so you can see it's not really changing any of the text there, it's just kind of saying exactly what I asked for. So that's not really too great. Uh, let's take a look though at some features in regards to summaries, uh, email, all of that. So I can go ahead and find any article. There is gonna be some kind of screen awareness eventually for uh, this beta, but for now I can go ahead, select this entire article. It looks like that all got selected. Writing tools. And now we can see a few things, rewrite, friendly professional, or we can get a summary. So here is a summary of the article, but I've noticed that it's very short summaries. So if we were to do the same thing, and copy and then put it into ChatGPT. We get a much better summary that's gonna actually give you something kind of useful here. So a little bit different there. I would say these writing tools in terms of using it for summary, not as useful as maybe using ChatGPT, but what else can we do? Let's say I am writing an email. I'm just gonna copy the same thing here and put it in an email. So here we've got a paragraph. Okay, over here we have writing tools. We can rewrite. And here again, very short summary of whatever we were trying to write here. If we go back, we can also uh, get key points. This is a little better. And we can try, let's go professional. And let's say we like this, we can say copy, paste. And now we have a shortened version right here. Now it's supposed to be built into photo library as well. Now if I said, show me photos of my dog in my library. So it's really just, <laughs> there's my dog, but it's just showing the latest video in my library. I don't think that's really going to be what I asked for. Now, if I go to my main library, search is supposed to be improved with intelligence. And on iOS 18, I have been noticing some bugs in the library, I will mention. Okay, so here we can say, my puppy and me. So it shows just one result. It does say it's indexing my library, but this has been, I mean, going on for quite a while. If I did just search for puppy, it does have plenty of photos and videos that are gonna show up right here. Uh, so not too sure about the quality of that. We can try one more thing. Ski trip in Utah. And you can see there, no results, even though in the preview, it is showing these results. So a little bit buggy with the photos. And we also now have smart reply and messages. So you can see here, if I open up one of my text messages, if I click here, you can see a quick glow and then some ideas for what to put in there. So it's kind of a full sentence. Uh, so that is definitely a new feature with Siri. And then you'll notice though, the whole, intelligence with Siri, it's still not there. So for example, is this the new Siri intelligence? So nothing here. Are you still listening? Can you help me figure out what to cook with some eggs and spinach? So there you go. I mean, that's something decent. 
And then if you slip up during a discussion with Siri, it kind of does a better job of understanding you. Set a timer for five minutes. Actually, let's do 15 minutes. There you go. Those are pretty much the main things with iOS 18 Apple Intelligence. There's really not too much yet to play around with. Uh, so looking forward to seeing what else comes out, but so far not too impressed. I'd rather use ChatGPT.